And we're live, people. Hello, welcome. <laughs> so if, uh, as, as people are starting to come on, just give me a couple of thumbs up, maybe some love to say that you can see me. I think that I shared global. Yes, I did. I did. Awesome. Okay, welcome to the show. My name is Laura Hall, and you are on the Come Cook With Me. Um, we come live to you every Friday. Uh, normally, we're at 4.30, but I decided today, since we were deciding to go into a new location, we're here at the condo, I thought, um, give myself an extra half hour. Well, actually, to believe it or not, I was ready at 4.30, so welcome to the show. And I have the camera set up. It's such a different space. I really can't see any of the comments. So if you're asking questions, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you right off the bat, I can't see them. Can't, I'll just be, I'm just being perfectly honest with you. I can't see the, the comments. So I'll answer any questions that you have um, at the end of the show. So I am so excited for what we are making today. It is going to be a, such an amazing meal. You will not even believe how awesome this meal is. So while you're getting ready to come cook with me, go ahead and get your Instant Pot set up and you're gonna get it ready to saute. So you wanna hit saute. We'll go ahead and get that warmed up. So if you're new to the show, one of the things that we love to do is in our community, we love to say, hello, um, our, that's just the Instant Pot getting started. And over here, um, we have the crock pot and I actually have an old traditional crock pot. It's very hot right now. I can't even lift this one up to show you how it's been cooking. Um, so you know if you're new to the show, what we do is we love to show this recipe, any recipe that I'm cooking, um, we love to do it in an instant pot as well as a traditional with the uh, crock pot. And that is an actual traditional crock pot today, not a slow cooker. So. <laughs> um, so welcome, and so all you wanna do is say hello who you are and where you're from. And when you do that, you get a chance to win certain things. And every week we'd love to give away gifts. Sometimes we give, hey, hello, love to see the love. So um, I did see the, the thumbs up and the love, so thank you very much. Um, so what we love to do is share these incredible spices that a teammate of mine has created. They are phenomenal, I use them all of the time. And so you'll see them on today's show as well. We're going to be using them. So when you say hello, who you are, where you're from, you just get a chance to win the spices the next week. So what I do is I put all of the people who say hello, who they are, I just put your name in a random generator and pick you out. Boom, that's who wins. So I'll, I'll announce the winners of who won that. Also, you have another chance to win if you share the show on your Facebook wall. Because what we're trying to do is inspire other people, share this beautiful gift of cooking and the community of cooking. But the other thing we'd love to do is, um, I don't know, this is, this is one of the things that I'd love to share with people. It's like, I grew up, you know, old school, you know, I would teach or, uh, you know, we would throw things into the crock pot first thing in the morning and this is starting to heat up. So let me go ahead and start cooking. So we would start to, um, I'm going to start off with uh, putting some G. Uh, you can do clarified butter, you can do butter. We just do an eighth of a cup. And if those of you who are new, I have the recipe above. So you just want to get that going ahead and get that starting to melt. Sorry about that. Oh gosh, this is the, this is the new Instant Pot for the condo. And I'm loving how hot that is. That got really hot quickly, so love that. Okay, so you're gonna to wanna to add your onion. We're gonna go ahead and we're just sauteing the onion and the garlic together for this recipe. We are making the most healthy version that you can ever make. The, the, I think the worst part of this recipe, like the unhealthiest part, is gonna be the clarified butter. Um, and you don't have to use butter, you can use avocado oil. I just thought since we're using everything else, this is so wonderful and fresh, that we would go ahead and use, oh, and then the next thing is, I'm using um, garlic cloves that have been roasted. And I know in the recipe it calls for fewer than what I'm using, but I know my family. Um, I know who I'm cooking for. I like a little bit more garlicy. So I'm going to go ahead and put all of those garlic cloves in. 
And so we're gonna let this saute. I'm sorry if it's really loud. I'm not used to the noises and the sounds of this place. I, I pretty much know it at the um, Corvada house, you know, what's going on, but this is a little, probably a little bit louder than, because you're, you're closer. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna let that saute. So, so when I grew up, when the kids were growing up, we did crock potting. That's what we did. You know, that's, you, you put the meal in, you came home from school, after teaching, after, you know, getting everything, the homework done, the crock pot was done, and that's, we had a perfectly great meal. Well, I found, since I started a show, and really how the show started, was finding the Instant Pot. And so this Instant Pot is just an amazing tool. It's the best gadget I think you could have in your house. And I love the fact that my kids are all about, well, my son especially, he's sending me tons of questions. He's always, always saying, Mom, I'm gonna make this, I'm gonna make this. I just wish I could share with you all of the posts that, like he's like into his Instant Pot. But it's, it's so easy and convenient. He's a teacher now too. Um, so shout out to you, Braxton. He's a great teacher in Shelby County. He teaches special needs. Um, he's such a great soul. And, um, so at any rate, he uses his Instant Pot all the time because he's also a runner. He trains for marathon. Just a little bit about him. So this is already sautéed. I'm going to show you what it looks like. I'm going to turn that off. Hold on one second. Um, yeah. So this is like beautiful. Take a look at how beautiful that is sautéed. Yeah. So in the traditional, just to kind of go through what I did in the uh, crock pot, the crock pot that I have at the other house, um, it has a saute feature. It's one of those all clad ones. This does not have a saute feature. So what I had to do for the crock pot is I needed to use my stove and I used just this pan over here, sauteed just the same way I just sauteed it there. So you'll have to do that step. And I do recommend doing that step, especially if you're doing it in crock pot, because it really releases some beautiful flavors that you want to have. Um, and this has been slowly cooking for about two, three hours now. So, all right, so now that we have the Instant Pot turned off, um, let me go ahead and just share with you. So let me finish the story, because I'll just get going and we'll just get the recipe done and you won't, we'll miss the story. And so, um, I started doing the cooking show and I thought what a great way to do my my recipes and put them in the Instant Pot and compare them to how they cook up in the crock pot because like I said I was just a crock pot enthusiast I mean I just you know I would be running and we'd all be sharing recipes it would just be phenomenal I mean it was really great but now the Instant Pot is just it's just so it, it's one of those things if you haven't gotten one I so recommend you getting one the flavors become just incredible all right so that's the story let's go ahead and get this recipe going so what we're doing is a healthy Alfredo um, we are doing this with a cauliflower and we have some amazing ingredients that I think that you're gonna absolutely love so one of the things I want to do while this is just finishing the little bit of sauteing sweating right now is add some spices so that they're done. Um, I have, I always use, I always use non-GMO spices. I love organic, whatever possible. Um, no GMOs because we don't need genetically modified food. Really, we need to stay away from that. Um, and so, you know, this is a brand that is everywhere. I think you'll find. So I use the McCormick. So it's no GMO, certified USDA organic. Um, and this is Herbs of the Providence. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this sweat in with the onions and the garlic. And then here are our Dano spices. This is the teammate of mine. I'm my healthy, um, I, I, I'm also a health coach. If you have been following me, you know that I'm a health coach. If, you're new to the show, you don't know anything about me. I'm a health coach and I help people go through um, a healthy, creating a healthy new lifestyle uh, through nutritional cleansing. And um, well, this is a teammate of mine and he is amazing. He has created these incredible spices. He comes out of, hails out of Kentucky. So you'll see Kentucky Proud right there. Woo -woo. Little, little Kentucky Proud. But what I love about these spices is that they're so great. 
they have a sa he has a savory one and he has a little bit of a spicy guy um, and I just love them both but what I love so much what he's done for us is that they're low sodium they have huge flavor huge flavor I mean I'm telling you big flavor um, low sodium no sugar they're gluten-free no MSG and no GMOs I mean they are amazing so I'm gonna go ahead and let that sweat in there with the onions and the garlic and I use G so it's a clarified butter and I know those of you who are watching me, they're saying, you're saying, oh my gosh, she's not measuring anything. I don't measure. But I did put some estimate measures in there for you. Um, and I also, that was cumin. Um, and then I have some black pepper. The recipe really calls for white pepper, but if that's all you have, like I, all I have right here, that's what you're gonna use, right? Okay, so I'm just gonna let that all gel together. Oh gosh, if you had Smell-O-Vision, it would just be amazing. So yummy. And that garlic, oh my gosh, it just smells just incredible. Okay, so the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add the rest of the ingredients. It's just such an easy recipe. Um, so I know that I use 16 ounces of my bone broth. I love bone broth. Instead of using, um, it's the only thing I use actually. So bone broth is what I choose. Um, if you are a total vegan, I would just go ahead and do a vegetable broth. I mean, that's going to be beautiful. But I always use bone broth. There's so much gut health associated with using bone broth. So we're going to go ahead and put that in. Mm. I want to get the sides. I had some onion that went up. Let me just get it off the side here. Get it in. Beautiful. Okay, and I have not put in, I'm gonna use a little bit of pink Himalayan salt. Just go ahead and get that in. Mm. Okay, now the next ingredient that I'm gonna use is a milk-based um, protein, um, plant-based protein. No dairy. This is completely gluten-free and dairy-free. You're gonna love this recipe. So this is, uh, I, I like this one from Boathouse. Um, it's a non-dairy plant milk. It's unsweetened. Look at the grams of protein that you get out of this guy. It's amazing. It's just so awesome. Um, no GMO. It's just a beautiful blend. Um, and I think it's at most grocery stores. So go ahead and add that. All right. The next ingredient that I'm adding is a milk almond yogurt. So um, it's just Kite Hill. That's what I, I love, Kite Hill. Kite Hill products are just phenomenal. I just love them. So I'm just gonna dump that whole container in. And then I have two types. I, I shared half in each one of those, but I used a chai and a plain cheese spread. It's like a cream cheese spread, but again, it's, it's almond, made it from almond. So I, show you that right here how awesome is that so cool hey mark i did see that <laughs> nice kitchen thanks yeah i love the whole remodel doesn't it look awesome it looks pretty cool it's awesome cooking in it too okay perfect all right so the last thing that we're going to be adding right now is going to be our cauliflower so i've already got that chopped up quite a bit, take the leaves off, rinse it, obviously, make, and this is organic. Rinse my hands real quick. Okay. I'm just gonna stir this around a little bit just so that they're pushed down. Now you're not going to have liquid that completely covers it because it's just you don't want to have as much liquid as I, you normally do. And what I'm going to do is set my Instant Pot, setting it up, make sure when you set it up you have it on where it's not venting, it's closed in the ceiling position. I'm going to set this on manual. I love how it talks. That's a new talking. Okay, so I'm going to set it on manual. 
I'm going to have it on high pressure and I'm going to use eight minutes. So let's see, I'm going to do pressure level, pressure cook. And I want to bump that up to eight minutes. And it's just going to go ahead, it's on high pressure, it's just going to go ahead and start. Um, it'll, it'll be for us when it gets started. So there you go, it's getting started. So it's going to build up pressure at, because you have that pressure valve off. You'll know it's building pressure if you can see there's a little button right here. I don't know, I can't lift it up now that I've got it started. I should have shown you this with the lid off. But there's a little knob here that when it gets the pressure, it's going to pop up and that you know that you've actually got a good pressure. Okay, if it doesn't pop up, then something's going wrong in the ceiling. So you always want to do, if you're new to opening your Instapot, so Sydney, this is for you. Um, if that seal doesn't, if that doesn't pop up, then something's wrong with the seal. So we'll just go ahead and, and you'll want to check that. But if that pops up, you know you've got good pressure, you can't open the lid, it's just beautiful. I love the safety feature of the, of the Instapot. So when this is done, when, the, when it kick, kicks off, you want to go ahead and hit the release, hit the release valve and let all the pressure escape. Open the lid and then you're going to grab your emulsifier and you're going to just emulsify, get that all chopped up, emulsified. It'll be really super creamy when you do that. And then what I've got in the oven, I've gone ahead and made some chicken breasts. Some people love to have a little bit of chicken, so it's going to be optional. I'm going to have these sliced on the side, but in the oven, I actually have some chicken breasts that are just baking right there. I don't know if you can see that. I think you can actually see that. That's good. And then I'm going to have some um, zucchini noodles to serve as an option, and I'll also have some uh, gluten-free noodles to serve with, with the dish. I mean, it's just amazing. So easy. Oh, Rio just came back in from his walk. <laughs> and I know, everyone asks, can they see Rio? And I tried to set up his bed here, and he just, he didn't go for it. So if he comes into the picture before we hang, get finished with the show, it'll be, it'll be what we do. But that's it. That's the show. I mean, that's the recipe. I've got the recipe up in the comments. Remember, say hi, who you are, where you're from. Be great. You get a chance to win the spices. I'm going to let you know who last week's winners are. And if you share this on your wall, which we love to share this on the wall, hit the share button right now so that you can say, hey, this is my friend, Laura. Check out her, check out her website. Um, check out her Facebook page. But guess what? If you missed any of the shows that I've ever done, you can catch all of the shows on my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is Lifestyle by Laura J. And all you have to do is just take a look at all of the recipes that we have there and all of the shows that we've ever done. I, I mean, I can't believe we're getting close to being in a, in a year. It's just amazing how fast this has gone. Okay, so I'll show you, in case you were wondering, I use uh, this particular type of noodle, but I'm also gonna be using um, the, I think the zucchini noodles are gonna be just phenomenal. And that's the show, people. Have a wonderful weekend. Um, let me share with you before you all leave who the winners were from last week. So the person who just said hello, who, oh gosh, you're going to just love this. I'm so excited for you. Okay, so the person who won the spices from last week, Jackie Waithin. Jackie, you won! <laughs> I'm really excited. So let's get together. You are actually in my community, so I'll be able to get those delivered, hand deliver those to you. And then the person who won the shake, now again, to win the shake or whatever, else we have going and I'm thinking next week maybe it should be time for another Instapot. I don't know. Let me see the kind of viewership and the kind of sharing that we have going on and we'll go ahead and do that. But the person who won the seasonal shake, so you're going to get a choice between uh, cookies and cream and pumpkin spice, which I'm still loving my pumpkin spice. Oh my god, I just love it. So the person who won is Casey Riley. Casey, I think that was your first time coming on to the show. Um, I don't recall seeing you before on the show, so I, I'm excited for you. Thank you and congratulations. Thanks for sharing it first time out um, and just having a great time with, uh, with having fun with us. I hope you enjoyed cooking in the new kitchen here um, at the Beach House, so we're really excited. I, I'm loving, loving, loving. I think I owe some people some pictures. I'm waiting for one more thing to be, to be finished before we actually do some before and afters, and I think you'll love to see the house. 
Um, have a wonderful and a wonderful blessed weekend. Be safe, everybody. And remember to make somebody else's day just such a beautiful experience. Just smile, provide love, just be everything that you can be for other people. All right, have a wonderful weekend. See you next week. Oh, don't forget, if you wanna catch what we're gonna be cooking, go to, on Wednesday, you'll always see the, um, come shop with me. I always share with you what we're gonna be making. Um, I share with you all the ingredients that I'm finding for the actual recipes. So don't forget, if you ever wanna cook with me live, you'll be able to do that. So have a great weekend, everybody. Love, love to all of you.